As soon as the August security patch is out, we got the Rise Ride latest version update. This is one of those customs which I think so. I made a video on almost all the versions, and the name is Rise Ride version 4.5 which we are talking about in this video and yes it's based on android 12 l as expectedly android 12.1 you can say the version which i'm using here is of course the unofficial version the daily update which is available for redmi note 10 pro users but yes if it might be available for your device also so if your device has the official or unofficial build you can install this thing on your device if you want to as i just mentioned the starting of the video it will give you the august security patch so yes the updated security patch is here i'm going to talk about some few of the changes the change log about in this version so stay tuned first of all if you're able to notice the quick settings panel i'm using this kind of layout which includes three columns and the rows are basically same you can do this thing too but one thing if you're able to notice and one more thing before moving further one more thing which if i'm able to tell if i'm able to tell you is you can see that temperature a uh, battery temperature which we have which is called system info you can adjust the gpu frequency gpu utilization you can enable any option from here and this system info option was not present previously and in this new update we got this option and now move on to the quick settings layout option which let me just tell you once again this is the ui if i enable the four columns then this is the ui and if i enable the two columns you will see the same kind of ui which you have in by default in android 12.1 or android 12 you can say if i enable the number three or three columns if you're able to notice now we'll see two rows two rows in the quick quick settings panel so yes by the way it looks quite good by the way so if you love these kind of theming options you will definitely love this thing too and including that if you want to hide the tile titles you can use this thing by using this as you can see this is how the ui is looking like and if you love to do some customizations then yes you can give it a try if you want to this was about the quick settings layout customizations which is added in this latest version called rise for version 4.5 we also got some few of the changes regarding vertical layout and etc etc one of the major difference or one of the major changes which i got here in this version is in the quick in this default launcher the default launcher is sushi launcher as expectedly but in this default launcher we found some few of the changes let me tell you which are which are those changes which i found corner radius of the search bar which you can adjust if you want to as you can see by default the value is 100 percent you can change that if you want to also if i move on to the app drawer options if you're able to notice you can adjust the row height background opacity force white labels all apps themed icons i mean there are many features available in this default launcher so i don't think so you will feel to change the launcher the default launcher even if you want to the recent screen also got some changes here you can see this is the recent screen you recent cy where you have the close all options screenshot screen card and kill app option i think so everything is already present and you can simply adjust these options if you don't want to use any one of these options you can simply disable that disabling any option is not a complicated thing for you miscellaneous also includes the taskbar option if you want to use this thing you can you can even adjust the launcher blur radius as far as i know these are the a lot of features which are available in this default launcher were not present previously as far as i know and if i move on to some customization section as you can see almost all the customizations are kind of same wallpapers and styles have the option to use the third party themed icons which means if you want to use the lawn icons rk icons dg icons you can use those too so this is one of the positive things about this one too in the battery sector we got same kind of options available for you where you can get the option for battery optimization and some few of the battery stats and security section you'll see you'll face uh, you'll see the face lock and fingerprint lock options and app lock as expected which is even available in the default launcher too and system we got some rise to lab features where we have application downgrade ignore window secure flags and almost same kind of things which were available in previous update too these are the things which you have in this rise to our latest version which is based on android 12.1 and the version which we are talking about here is version 4.5 link for the official supported device is already available there and as i always say if your device has the unofficial build what you can do is you can find out on telegram channels or you can find out you can look for those things in xda thread if you found that room you can go and install this thing installation is not so complicated simply install the build like here you do with other custom rooms 
this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this don't forget to like and share this and as always i will see you in the next video until then goodbye and take care